Real Grade Zeta 3. Hey, what's up again, everybody? It's Robert, 184, 2Rs, 2Bs, Gundam Reviews. Net. And you've already seen the unbox here for this Zeta Gundam, the number three machine from Gundam Evolve and more, Amuro Ray and White Unicorn. Well, it's going to be taking the classic design here and putting on some cool new steels and color schemes. So let's see it all put together as the suit that would have, could have, should have been. And when he's all put together with his regular, real-grade, Zeta-transforming finickiness, well, what do you think about this? I think the back is going to look spectacular, as does the shield, even though it's mostly going to be hidden away. But otherwise, the combinations of the three different greys there, uh, well, the white and the two different greys, to go along with that pink, which definitely stands out, and all the seals. In terms of looks, he's definitely going to be looking very sharp. What do you think about the lining? Does that take away from it a little bit? Or is your focus already going to be on this almost Special Forces blinding white? Here's the focus on the lower section there, as you can see the seals, grey, yellow, and pink for the shoes. And for a zoom in of the top, how about all those details there as they spin into view? The yellow is in all the right places, the forearms, the waist section, and that grey part there for the cockpit hatch, I think, is looking spectacular. And there he is, compared in colors with the original Zeta there on the left. And here are the upper bodies. As you can see, that you're going to be getting the same coloring in terms of the white and gray down there for the waist section. The big swap being the blue for the pink there with the Zeta 3 marking on there. The blue for the shoulders and the chest is definitely going to be missed, though, as you get the relative plainness over here for the Zeta 3. It's going to be helped a lot, though, by that Amaro marking. And what do you think of that pink jewel up at the top? when you compare it to the red and the yellow combination, but the shield, when you can see it, is going to come down to a choice here between primary color boldness or just over here with the lined gray details and those pink parts and seals definitely catching the eye in a cool style. For comparison time, here he is next to Camille's Mark II once it's painted up in its Gundam colors there. The real great, I think, for this kit is just spectacular in terms of its proportions. The big shoulders there are going to be overshining the Zeta, but he's definitely got the edge and height and wingspan back there. And you've always got to wonder, though, in terms of story, why they put Amuro in one of three extra Zeta Gundams when there are two more of these running around. Of course, they got parted up. But anyway, it would have been sort of interesting to have Amuro in a Mark II as well before he stepped into the new. So here he is with the evolution of Amuro's mobile suits there. Definitely a change in pace here in terms of the coloring as you've got the much darker navy blue there for the new Gundam, which is going to stand out compared to the regular blue of the 78 Gundam. The pink doesn't seem to be a part of this tradition, but overall, if you go 78 Zeta and new, and if you can excuse their age differences, it is a pretty cool evolution. Here's where the white unicorn meets the white unicorn mobile suit in its unicorn mode before he goes all destroy mode, which is going to be bringing out a red, which is again going to set it apart from that pink that you're seeing there with Amaro. But I think the appeal of getting all of these Universal Century suits, whether they're HG or RG, on your shelf is definitely going to be on the upswing in terms of appeal. And back to Gundam Age, you can see some parallels there as well, as we've got the transforming Asim Asano's Gundam Age 2 normal there, and then it's going to go Special Forces color there in all white, and so you can see some interesting similarities here for your shelf. And finally, here's a man who's no stranger to white color variations, as the classic green Zaku 2 became high mobility, and Shin Matsunaga is the white wolf there to go along with white unicorn. Of course, this all played a role together in the story of Gundam Evolve, he was quite unhappy that his Zeta wasn't painted up in white, and instead ended up... A practical, but non-personal favorite, colored gold. And with the wings out for display there, and all the seals and all their glory, the shield all deckled up, the colors on, and him armed up with everything except a big blue gun that, of course, there's quite a few people who are missing... Even though he's on the ground here and a little bit wobbly, he is going to be standing up, so the help of an action base. But basically, everything that applied to this guy in terms of posing and finickiness and the good and bads about this guy is going to be applying here. But the focus, of course, if you're buying this one online, is going to be on the looks 
And for me, that just means keeping him in his MS mode. I'm never going to have this guy transformed, as it just seems you'd want to have two, I think, because otherwise it's just a waste. You want to be showing off that Amaro A there, and of course just having all that pink trim is going to be making all the difference here in terms of coolness. So what do you think of this one? Now it's time for some final thoughts. So starting at the beginning from the unbox there, the cover art is going to be a little bit plain and lacking some color, but overall it's still going to be looking great, showing off the famous Zeta Gundam in his two poses there, with the Amaro A looking very prominently displayed. And I think the most important thing is that when you just see the massive size of the box, you're going to say, what's up with the height of this? You're going to open it up and you're going to see the seven different plates back there. There's chalk that up as a negative, but at the same time, Bandai could have totally skimped out when they're giving you two different plates of gray so that you can get one single piece out of that. It's definitely a testament to the effort that they're putting in with the real grade line, where they want the three colors in short order, and in this case, they went to all the trouble to do that, so much so that you're going to be wasting about five, well, four plates of plastic back there when you add it all up. At the same time, just in terms of the pure results, when you see the looks of that guy, and hopefully he's not going to go toppling over, I would say it's well worth it, and that's going to be helped in no small part by the fact that that pink color that they chose for this plastic is absolutely spectacular. And when you combine it with the seals, they're very, very well cut and designed. They're going to be going on just right. You saw with the wings there that even when you go for the slide in and out there, it's not going to be hurting anything. It's not going to be damaging anything. And he's going to be looking very, very sharp here. And I think that ultimately this guy is designed. I, I'm not a big fan of some of the parts of this Zeta Gundam. Yes, it's incredible that they brought him home at this price and this size, transforming with this much detail. But he is going to come across as a bother when you actually want to do much with him. Which is why, for me, having this Zeta 3, you're going to put him in one pose. You're going to put him next to the regular Zeta or next to your new or your 78 Gundam. And he's going to look good with all of his real grade de glory. And I think that for me, that's enough to overlook the flaws inherent in the design of getting a transformable wave rider into something that is this exciting. So future speculation, where do you have to go? First of all, you've got to think about Amaro suits and we've got to think about things like the origin and who knows what's going to be happening after Unicorn Episode 7 wraps up. Anyway, we will we be seeing, is this the last one? We've already got it in Master Grade. We could be getting a perfect grade, you'd think, at some point if they wanted to do an exclusive, that definitely there'd be some people that want to go for that. But how about for the Zeta 3? The 3 is all important there, because we've also got Shin, and we've got what would be Johnny Ridden's red one running around. Could they do that? Because those ones have a lot of changes to them, besides just being color variations. Which is why you think that they're, of course, besides the Amaro Ray White Unicorn Ray name recognition, why they'd go with this guy first. But could we be getting some other ones in a different line? I would definitely be excited to get all three of these guys in Master Grade. How about you? So anyway, everybody, that's going to wrap up my look at this premium online real grade exclusive here for the White Zeta 3. I got to say that I'm a big fan of it just for what it is. It's going to sit there and it's going to look good. And hey, is there anybody out there who's going to be buying this and rush out and do another color variation? I would love to see the results if somebody does. Anyway, everybody, Robert184, Gundam.tk, thanks for watching. Please let me know what you think with a comment down below. And of course, you can go vote. Do you like this kit or do you not like this kit? Would love to see the response on GundamReviews.net. Just find this in the real grade posts. And as always, stick around for lots more. See you next time. Bye. A pink one for me sounds perfect. Now that is colorful peacocking here.